you pray with me, please? Father, we uh, come this morning to worship you, uh, to sing praises to you, uh, to read your word and to hear your word preached. And we pray that our worship will be pleasing. And Lord, we have uh, sent out our youth group from us, uh, and they, as an act of worship, have offered themselves as, as a spiritual act of worship for you. We pray for them as they uh, go to serve. And we pray for those who they will be serving. We pray that uh, through them, uh, they will know your love. And we pray that uh, our church here in the community, that we will, we will serve those here and that they will, they will know us by our love. All this, Lord, so that you will be glorified and you will be honored. It's through Christ we pray. Amen. Good morning, church family. Good morning. It's good to be with you this morning. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Matthew Carter. I'm one of the uh, deacons of the month here for July, uh, along with Tommy Wynn. Uh, it's, again, good to be with you. Uh, for those of you visiting with us, uh, a special welcome to you. Uh, if you look on the back of the pew in front of you, there's a little slip of paper. If you could uh, take that and fill that out and put it in the offering plate as it comes around. I would like to have a record of your attendance. Uh, those of you joining us by our uh, social media ministry, uh, welcome to you also. Uh, for those of you in the, uh, in the hearing of my voice, if you need a ride to come uh, here, we have a, a bus ministry. So if you would uh, call the church office at 359-4077, we can uh, arrange to pick you up and bring you here so you can worship with us and, and take you back home afterwards. Um, this time, we like to have a time of greeting. Uh, church members, seek out those who are visiting with us. So if you would rise now and have a time of greeting.
Good morning, good morning. I brought something with me this morning that I bet you guys have never had to deal with, and that's a suitcase. Any of you ever been anywhere? Had to pack a bag for the night? I'm not even going to ask what you might put in that bag. But I know you have to pack important stuff like clean underwear and pajamas and a toothbrush. you got to pack a toothbrush because you got to brush those teeth. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, you got to have your teddy bear and, you know, all that fun stuff, right? Some new shoes, some more shoes in case you get your regular shoes dirty or something. You know, Mama's going to stick a lot of things in there, isn't she? Things that you don't think you need. And she might even take a few things out that you just don't think you can live without. But we all have to pack a bag when we go somewhere, don't we? Well, I know y'all noticed this morning that we got a big empty space over here, right? We got a lot of people gone this morning. And you know what? They've gone to New Orleans. I'm so jealous. They've gone to New Orleans. They're going to do missions work down there. And they're going to have a busy, busy week. And they're on the road right now. So I want everybody to pray, especially for them to have a safe trip this week, today and coming back on Saturday. And that they would do the Lord's work and have a good week. But have you ever wondered what you do on a mission trip? Or what you do when you leave the doors of the church today? We don't have to go to New Orleans to do missions. We've got a big, big community right here around us that's just begging for somebody to tell them about Jesus. And you know, there's a passage in the Bible that tells us, and I think this might be something that Brother Tom talked to us about last week too, but it's worth saying again. There's a passage in Mark that says, this is Jesus talking to his disciples. These were his instructions. Take nothing for the journey except a staff. No bread, no bag, no money in your belts. Wear sandals, but don't take an extra tunic. He told them, go. Go. That's what he said. He said, go. Go and tell the people. Go and make disciples. Now, it'd be hard for any of us to just jump in the car and go. We'd all want to pack our bag, wouldn't we? Because there are things we just think we can't live without. But you know what? 